Okay, hello, welcome back for the first time in about a week to Road to Glory with Williams. I'm sorry it's been a while. I have had the coronavirus and I was affected pretty badly because I am very unhealthy. So, yeah, probably should work on my health a little bit now. But instead, I'm going to stay inside and I'm going to play video games because, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, British Grand Prix, qualifying time, it's wet. I don't like the British Grand Prix, I don't like the track, but it might have to stay in, just because of the fact it's my home Grand Prix. We'll have to see how this race goes, if it goes awfully, it may be a consideration to remove from next season. However, as you can see, struggling to get around these corners, just about managing to make it round, to go about P. 17, which isn't Great awful. Great Britain then, one of only two countries to have held a Grand Prix in every single year of the Formula One World Championship. And the circuit extends that record further for today's Grand Prix. With good opportunities to overtake at the end of the Wellington and Hangar Straits, there's a lot of potential for close action around the 3.6 miles of the Silverstone circuit. With 18 corners and average lap speeds of around 145 miles per hour, it's also one of the longest and quickest circuits on the calendar. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. It's Sergio Perez on pole position today, and it's Fernando Alonso alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Sainz, Valtteri Bottas, and Leclerc, Norris, Gasly, Hamilton, and Yuki Tsunoda, Ocon, Aitken, George Russell, and Giovinazzi, Joe, Stroll, Reed, and Mick Schumacher. Mazepin and Nicholas Latifi. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track and get this Grand Prix underway. Okay, I know it's your home Grand Prix, but treat it like any other race. Don't take unnecessary risks. It has been a while, so I will be a little bit rusty. However, I'm hoping to be able to do somewhat all right, maybe get some points. But we'll have to see... Based on the start, uh, hopefully we can do all right. All right, let's just get into it. Normal strategy, one stopper. Anyways, two five. Red lights, the British Grand Prix. We are underway. We get a pretty decent start. Stroll on our right gets a pretty awful one. Joe goes past Russell and Giovinazzi. We go past Russell on the inside of turn one. Just about managing to make it past Joe and Giovinazzi ahead side by side into turn three we go around the outside very closely past russell almost making contact not russell sorry giovanazzi around the outside of aiken into turn four managing to get past off on ahead of us up in p11 we're in p12 down into the wellington straight we are up from p17 down to p12 off on the snoda ahead battling down into cot snoda backs out we managed to get ourselves past as well as off on getting past up into P11 at the end of lap 1, we've managed to gain 6 positions, Fernando Alonso setting the fastest lap, Hamilton ahead of Ocon up in P9, but into lap 2 we are ahead of our teammate and up into P11, right behind Ocon now then, into turn 7, through to 8, down towards Cox, we're right, right behind, both removed on the inside, doing a Hamilton, almost, oh, oh. Off on pushing himself off, we managed to stick behind end lap two. Green set one, green set two. Fernando Alonso setting another fastest lap. Struggling a little bit here. Seems to have a lack of downforce. DRS from is corners. being enabled this lap. We can use DRS when you are within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. That. Please, please, that was a mistake. Calm it. DRS name with both. He's giving a head then to lap five. Off on behind us, he's going to have DRS down the Wellington straight. He goes for a move on the outside turn six and he pushes us he cuts early across and hits into our right hand side he's gonna have wing damage from that but we've lost quite a bit of time and from what it seems possibly a bit of body work because our car is not turning the way it should be there's a very very high amount of oversteer i believe maybe it's understeer understeer 
lap six, we're really losing our car here. Really, really losing it. Ocon has a pit, but eight kids managed to catch up. We just can't make these turns through turn five. Sorry, turn four. Aiken right behind us down through turn five. We lose our car, we lose control, we've spun it round. We spun it off the track and hit into the wall. Somehow we haven't got damage. We've managed to get just about back on track. But that's five positions we've just lost down to P16. That's really, really not good for us. We have managed to keep it on the track. We're barely managing to control it. Our rear tires are lit up right now. Probably around about okay, 150 degrees. Going to pit this lap for our mediums going a lap early. Just in case we have any bodywork damage, sometimes like these like ghost phantom bodyworks get fixed for a pit. We nearly lose it outside the exit. We do lose it. We spun it round. We've managed to spin it full 360 and keep it going, but we're into P19. God damn it. Alright, we're going to pit lap 6. We're in P19. We're going to go down to P20 because it's like a 30 second pit stop. But that is very annoying, and we have engine issues. Our ICE is on the brink of failure, and we, we haven't developed any durability for it. Literally, like, you don't see it, but a lot of the time I have to replace my ICE. And it's it's, it's going to get to about 90% by the end of this race, I reckon. It's that bad. It was like 40% at the start. I really should work on that. Oh, God. We might even have an engine failure, we might not even manage to speed now. make Let's it to get the, top, uh, the final line. So far, lap 7, we're out on medium and we're already struggling again. We definitely have damage to our car, going there wide to out the into the turn. Won't be able to open the rear wing. We're working on a fix. Stay Great. Out. We have a broken engine, a broken DRS, and a broken car. God damn it. Lap 10, we have smoke bellowing out behind us I'm going to have to make the executive decision through turn six to seven to slow down and pull ourselves off of the track and retire the car because it is not Here we are going then, a fantastic British to happen free, and what a performance it was from our race winners today Anthony Davidson a resounding victory today what set them apart from the rest well, I honestly feel it was down to the driver and car today. I mean, we can talk driver skill all day, but if you don't have a solid team to back that, you're never going to get anywhere. When you hit that sweet spot of having both an excellent driver and an incredible car, that's when you see results like those we witnessed today. And here we are, a team that is no stranger to the podium, taking their place on top once again. A sublime race today and a stunning win for Ferrari. Carlos Sainz then for a first victory here in Britain for a first career victory very nicely done indeed Fernando Alonso increases his championship lead and we have got no points the race just didn't go well and I'm going to make the decision that for next season Silverstone will not be on the calendar here is the standings, we're in P8 right now, Alonso P1 by 25 points on Verstappen, by 32 on his teammate Lando Norris. So as it stands, Fernando Alonso is looking at his third World Drivers' Championship, and I would love, love to see that. Hopefully next race we can do better, we'll have a brand new ICE, so we'll have a lot more engine power, and hopefully, going forward, we can improve... Um, and start getting some more points so that next season we can get a big, big payout and upgrade the car and upgrade the facilities even more. Because I think for now, I have the car as max other than durability, as max as I can get it. Just because it's not possible to go any higher. Okay, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, stick around because I'm hoping to upload a bit more soon because I've finally started fully recovering from COVID. Other than a slight cough and slight cold, I'm doing alright. So anyways, I will see you in the next one.